Hi, this is Michael from Southern Fire Guitars, and you know what's better than a cigar box guitar dog bowl resonator? Huh? Two cigar box guitar dog bowl resonators. I'm going to give you a close-up look at these two guitars and then reveal a secret that makes these two guitars so cool. Both of these guitars are built on a 23-inch scale length, both with oak necks, and they're made from the exact same type of box. So if they both had the same sound holes, they would be twins. Now since both these guitars are exactly the same other than the sound holes, they can't be twins, so I guess they're just siblings. It's a very good sized box, a deep, a deep box, which gives it a good, a good resonating sound. They both have shotgun shell volume knobs, jack plates, strap buttons, and they both have a really cool fire burnt finish. Awesome. Now since these guitars are siblings, let's see if they sound the same. Now the secret to these two dog bowl resonators is this. And what is this? This creates an illusion. And what do I mean by that? Well, I'll show you. Well, here's my box right here for the dog bowl resonator. This piece here fits right in there. The neck will fit right here. Like that. And the dog bowl fits right there, like a glove. Now the illusion is, if you look at it this way, it looks like the neck is going straight through the guitar. But we know that's not true. <laughs> now this guitar here does have the neck running straight through the box. Interesting. Well, that is the secret to these two cigar box guitar dog bowl resonators. Now I know there's one or two of you out there that's going to see this video and all I ask is don't tell a soul about this secret. It's between me and you. Let's try this one first, the one with the F holes. I do have a tune to an open G. I'm going through this line 6 amp back here with a clean channel and a little bit of reverb. Now let's try this one with the round sound holes. Tune the same to G, D, G. Well, if you like cigar box guitar dog bowl resonators, I've got a video where I show you how I build one. I'll leave a link to that at the end of this video.
Well, as you see from the dog bowl, I am building a dog bowl resonator. Now, last time I did one, I did it on this Arturo Fuente box right here. You can see how the bowl fits on there. It was like that. It was acoustic electric with a piezo pickup underneath the bowl and had two sound holes right here. This time I found a bigger box. This Don Tomas box is bigger than this one here because I wanted to put the bowl here and a pickup at the top. Now this Don Tomas box here does have a solid wood top. It's plywood, but I think it's going to sound really good because I used this one last time which sounded good as well. But look at the top on this Don Tomas. Look how nice and thin it is. So it's going to give a good resonating sound. And now let's take a look at where I'm at with the box. This is where I'm at with the box right now. This is the Don Tomas lid. I've cut the circle out in the middle for my dog bowl. And the way I did that was I took my dog bowl and measured the inside of the lip from here to here, divided that in half, and then took that measurement and used this little compass. Half measurement was from here to here. And I just laid it on the box top and drew my little circle there. And then I just cut it out. Now the middle little circle is right here which will be my biscuit that will go on top of my box or on my bowl with my bolt bridge there. And this is what it looks like here. Just like that. My bowl is going to fit in there like that. My biscuit is going to go on top there. I do have a single coil pickup going right here. Now I did cut this hole out of the box using a jigsaw, by the way. I even actually cut that out with a jigsaw, kind of crookedly, but kind of fixed it with a file after I cut out the little biscuit there. Now let's look at the inside of the box, what's going on here. Now I'm going to have my neck sitting in there like this, just like that. And it's going to have uh, the strike plate as my tailpiece, which will go at the back of the box right there. Now this will be bolted from the other side underneath the box into this oak neck. And then these little braces will be glued in there as well. These little blocks will be glued in the corner so I have a place to screw on my lid. Now, I have a few pieces of wood here. I'm going to glue into the box just random pieces like that. Why am I doing that? Well, because these cigar box guitars, especially with an oak neck or a, a heavy wood neck, maple or something hard, it's going to be neck heavy. The, box, the guitar is going to lean toward the, um, toward the neck side. So I'm putting these little pieces of oak in here, this wood, to kind of give the, the box a little more weight. I'm going to now glue all these pieces into the box and attach the neck, and then I'll show you what I got. I have attached the neck to the box. I glued these other uh, additional pieces of wood in the box just for some added uh, weight. I put these little blocks on the side so I could glue my or bolt my lid down. These extra little pieces of wood here kind of gave it a little balance. A little more weight on the box end. Now what I'm going to do now, I'll show you how the neck was attached, attached to the back right here with these three screws. I did leave this part of the label on just so it kind of shows what type of box it was. And I sanded the rest of the label off the rest of the box and stained it. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the electronics to pick up the volume the strike plate, jack plate, output jack. I'm going to go ahead and wire all that up and then I'm going to show you. Here's this damn wire coming right through here with this one here and that's post over there. One over there and a ground wire going through this to the back of that doohicker. I'm going to try to show this and hold the camera with one hand here. Okay, what I have is my pickup is under here under this copper tape and the the uh, two wires, the hot and the ground, run to the potentiometer over here. 
and the wires are kind of close together you can't really see too well under that but the potentiometer looks like this when it's upside down and it has three posts on it the left one the middle one and the one far to the right I bend over to touch the top of the pot where I will solder that to the top of the pot which is actually the bottom of the pot for my ground so what I have here is the hot wire from the pickup is going to this far left post here my ground the black one here is going to the top of the pot now the middle post here is going is my hot wire going to my output jack so the middle wire the middle wire here the middle post is going to the hot post on the output jack and the ground is being ground to the top of the pot to the output jack and I also have a ground wire right here that is going drilled th through this block of wood here and is under this strike plate that is to ground my strings so I don't get any humming or buzzing because of the magnetic pickup so I'm gonna button this thing up and put some strings on it and I can't wait to hear what it sounds like so stick around well I have finished the dog bowl resonator and it came out beautiful here's what it looks like it came out really nice I was going to use a bolt for my bridge right here, but I didn't have a bolt big enough, so I just made a bridge to sit on top of my biscuit. Man, do I like biscuits and gravy. Hmm. And before you leave, make sure you leave a like and a comment. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Please hit the subscribe button now and don't forget to ring that bell. My name's Michael, and I'll see you in the next one. How was that, Buster? Was that a good one? Yeah.